Almost two years since Champaign police officer Chris Oberheim was killed in the line of duty. For the first time, his partner, the night it happened, Jeff Creel, is opening up about it. Feel it, I can see the, I mean, it was that hot right there, it was this close. It was boom, boom, without the vest and the grace of God, I'm, I shouldn't be here. Since he is here, Creel says he wants to use his story for good. WCI3's Marley Capper sat down with him. Marley? It's been an emotional 19 months full of healing, recovery, and reflection. It was a tough and emotional interview, but Creel is ready to share his story. I call it a calling. I, I think it's very similar to ministry or like being a school teacher. Jeff Creel grew up in Glenview, Illinois. His neighbor worked for state police and his dad's best friend was a DEA agent. My dad had an auto shop in town. The cops just always hung out of my dad's shop. My dad always held these guys to a high regard. I don't know, they just seemed like the guys I wanted to be. So when it came time to choose a career path, he knew he wanted to be a cop. It's, uh, you just know you're supposed to do it. You're supposed to help others. You're not doing it for, uh, to be rich. You're doing it because you're a servant and you just have that heart to do that. He started his career in 1993 as a sheriff's deputy in Des Moines, Iowa. He then worked as a Chicago police officer before moving to Champaign in 2000. Champaign is a professional police officer. They taught me how to be a professional police officer. In his 22 years with Champaign, he was a part of the SWAT team, started the chaplain program, and even delivered a baby on the job. I am so glad you have God and Champaign Police there Department you behind you. <laughs> it's pretty great that uh, you know, I get to help bring a life in the world and he was safe and mom and son are together. Did you ever think then, when you said, this is where God's calling me, that this is where you would be now? You mean how my career ended like this? Not in a million years. No. Everything changed on May 19th, 2021. Jeff and Officer Chris Oberheim were dispatched to a domestic violence call. Within minutes of them arriving, Jeff says they were ambushed by the suspect. I uh, tackle him like this. And we go right into the A pillar of the door. Jeff says he heard shots fired, but couldn't see a gun. And, and we're spinning around and I'm losing them. And in my mind, Chris is just going to come up over my shoulder and he's going to end this threat and it's going to be over. Um, unbeknownst to me, the first two shots from this guy, um, were fatal to Chris. The suspect shot Jeff three times. His bulletproof vest saved him. I can see Chris is, he's mortally shot. I can see a shot, I, I, I know it's bad. At the hospital, all he wanted to do was see Chris. A nurse wheeled him outside where he saw what felt like 100 officers. I didn't expect what I was walking into. We walk out to the Sally port. And they just start clapping and, and just, you know, applauding me. And uh, I'm like, this, this, this wasn't the time or the place and I get it because I'd have done the same thing. And they're all coming over and they're hugging on me and telling me all this stuff. But on the inside, he was mourning the loss of a friend. It just crushed you, right? Because, you know, I made it through this thing. I'm still trying to figure it all out. My family's rejoicing and there's another one that's crushed. And on top of the grief he felt, he found a constant companion in the difficult memories that played through his mind. You know, uh, PTSD is a real thing. I've learned through this, right? Um, I think if I didn't know the Lord and have the faith that I have, I would have more of that. But when I've given this all to God and he saved me for a reason and I want to honor that and move forward with it, I am not going to question my creator why. I don't think I, I should ever ask that, right? Now, Jeff says he feels called to share his story. I do have a bit of a voice right now after this and if we can show how human and how real we are, we're just regular guys out here trying to do the job, trying to serve others, that that story needs to be told. I don't want to do this, but I feel like I should do this. His story doesn't end there. He's gained another family through this loss. You can hear his story coming up at 6.30. Jessica. Marley, thank you so much.